Hello and welcome to USA International. We're on the dirt in the ARCA car. This uh, is very exciting. I'm very excited to give this a try. I've been having a ton of fun in practice. It's difficult, but uh, it's a very fun challenge to take on. I've really enjoyed running laps. I'm feeling okay. I don't know how fast I'm going to be, but I don't really have any expectations. I just want to uh, hopefully have time to get some laps in, so hopefully I don't get wrecked immediately. I just, I just want to be able to participate. <laughs> so, Green flag. Green flag. survive, hope to get some laps in. And we'll see if we can start well, too. Went too hard in right there. I tried to be aggressive. But I think I overdid it. Probably doing this all kinds of wrong, but I had an okay, some okay times. One more lap. I'm definitely driving harder now than I will in the race. One, because I need to be more in control of my car around other people, and two, because heating up the tires isn't going to do me much good either for a longer race. This is basically the equivalent of doing a Q-lap and, uh, you know, destroying the tires, knowing that you don't need them for 35 laps or however long this race is. Not sure if this is going to be... Oops! <laughs> Got on the throttle too hard. I was really trying to push, trying to get a good lap, but... Uh, what did we get? 28.6. Could be better. My best is a 28.2. But it looks like it's holding up alright. It is a Tuesday night here at 11.50 at the moment. So, typical low participation hours for me. But that's okay. It's, it's funny because I'm on... We're in Dirt Oval, my least experienced uh, discipline on iRacing. And I'm still the number three car. Like, I can't... There's nothing I can do to get <laughs> higher car numbers, I swear. But that's okay. Um, you know, just uh, like I said, no expectations here. Just going to try to have some fun. Hopefully get some laps in before I die. If I'm going to die. <laughs> hey, this uh, P2 seems to be holding on pretty well. Pretty happy with that. I'd rather be in front of uh, the huge pileup if there's going to be one. I'm sure we're going to run into lap traffic that's struggling as well. The pace you're seeing now is closer to what I'll probably be run during the, running during the actual race. I found that uh, keeping the throttle like, steady is important, because if you just let off the throttle, it'll pull the car around. And if you like hit it harder, it'll make the car get all crazy. So I found that just keeping it as steady as possible, like, you know, mo not moving your foot too much, that's what keeps it straight real well. And then kind of letting go of the throttle once you get to the entrance of the corner, that'll help pull to the left and slow the car down a bit. Maybe even using some brake, especially if I have to take the low line. So if I were to, like, come into this corner and need to take the low line, hit some brake first, slow the car down, and then you can... Kind of do that steady low line thing. Then you can get on the throttle decently well if you uh, are low RPM, but I wouldn't recommend stabbing the throttle. Just enough to get the car going, because we're down at like 4,000 RPM right now, so you can like give it a little bit of throttle, but then actually lower the throttle once I start getting up to speed. Because you really don't need a. Uh, you don't need to be slamming the throttle. Your tires are just spinning, and that's actually making you go slower than if you take it easier with the throttle. Probably like 75%. Most of the time, it's probably all you're ever going to need. That's what I've learned so far. I did do the uh, very first Arca Dirt race at Knoxville, whenever that was a thing. Have that uploaded and everything on the channel before. And uh, I really enjoyed that for what it was. This is a very uh, controversial <laughs> choice for the Arca schedule, and there's some good there's good uh, some good points for both. 
I personally really like it. I enjoy the challenge. And uh, there are, it's not perfect. Definitely not perfect. There are things that could be much better with it, but that's for up. Oh, that's for eye racing to fix, in my opinion. You know, if, if we got wall riding problems, well, one that's protestable. You can't have people doing that. You know, you it's exploiting, you know, bugs in the service essentially, which is against the sporting code. And also, like, you know, that's for eye racing to fix. If uh, Something's not realistic if people are running against the wall. You know? Iracing's got to figure that out. That's not for us to figure out. I, I, that's just how I feel well, about it. Should be interesting. Yeah, it should. So we will do... I'm going to do all-time optimal off the start. It'll give me a good idea of the speed. I'm going into the corners and stuff. Right now I am a 2.1k high rating on dirt oval. Like I said, that it's my least experienced discipline on iRacing. I'd say even by far, probably. Most of my experience I do have in dirt is probably the dirt street stocks. With a little bit of the... Uh, Modifieds and such. What is it? 358? I don't even know what number it is. <laughs> 358 modified? Is that what it's called? But very little experience. Those are basically the two cars I've driven on dirt. Waiting for this eight. Oh, the eight's up there. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought I saw the nine back there. I think, and I thought he was the eight. Man, my single monitor situation has really been causing me trouble lately. <laughs> can't see people, so I can't just smash in the throttle. And I'll try to be easy on it, but not get run over from behind as well. Should be an interesting experience getting this thing up to speed. I don't even have second second gears to play. I'm gonna find out. There's a lot to learn here for probably everybody. This is such a new thing on the service. Only the second ever official race, Arc on Dirt. So we'll see how it goes. For now, we're watching that eight, who's kind of pinching me a little bit. Get ready. <laughs> That's Going okay. That's what he's supposed to do, I guess. Okay, car is off. Time to do your job. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. Pete Rose is now on. Right, easy now, easy now. Keep it steady. Inside, clear inside, clear. Gonna be huge just making sure that I don't smash on this throttle and keep it smooth and steady, keep consistent laps, keep it the out of danger. It's gonna be big. So we got him running into the wall. Is he just gonna be wall riding? I don't know. Did he break his car? I also don't know. Just gonna worry about myself. And uh, I will be the tortoise if he wants to be the hare. The leader has just done a so far, so good, though. Just done a From my viewpoint up here, anyway. <laughs> not sure what's going on behind us. I have not even looked in the mirror, to be honest with you. Kind of just driving in a slick. I think you're not supposed to do that in dirt racing. <laughs> Call me crazy. I go low here. Ooh, giving too much throttle. I almost tried to shift a fifth. That's uh, probably not going to work too well. 
considering there is no fifth gear. Keeping it moving. The gap in front is now not point eight. These dirt races are just exhausting too, because you have to work the wheels so much. It's pretty wild. I'm liking the low line though. Feeling pretty comfortable down there and nice and far away from the wall. <laughs> Which is nice. Oh man, this is fun though. I really enjoy this. Very difficult, and that's kind of a shame that it is so difficult because it is a lower class series being, you know, for D-class licenses typically. Though it works a little differently because this is a dirt oval race in a normally oval series, so the license system works a little bit differently there, but... Uh, yeah, it is kind of a shame that this may be a lot of people's first experience with a stock car on dirt, because it is quite difficult, and uh, maybe a better introduction to help people learn this very difficult type of racing would probably be, like, the trucks at, like, Eldora or something, you know, Knoxville, something like that, where there's a lot of room, you know, someone's introduction to this, you know, they might not know that you aren't really supposed to be smashing the throttle and on stuff, and it, it is very hard to control. Where did he go? Okay. <laughs> Your lap time was 28.8. Having trouble n figuring out where he is relative to me. Because <laughs> he's all the way over there and I'm pitched to the left. Sorry, bro, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my wheel is turned so far right. I do recommend turning the steering ratio all the way down to 8 to 1. Uh, believe it or not, no tire saving necessary here. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, just having the most control over the car possible to be able to counter steer and all that this, it can be very very helpful so that seems to work out for me and potentially can be useful to turn your uh, force feedback down a little bit if you have that set up a bit high because again you just want to be able to turn the car properly kind of move into the high side here I'm, I'm liking the extra grip we've got up here Looks like I'm gaining on him. He goes high side this time. Cut down. What's that? What's that going to do for me? He's on my outside. Spotter's just not going to tell me that. I guess. Shoot! I hope I didn't drift up too much there. Got on the brakes, but it locked up a little bit. Locked up, quote unquote. Oh. And uh, I was afraid it pushed up too far, but I think we're okay. I think I got too happy on the throttle, probably. It's very easy to do once you start getting in these racing situations. The adrenaline starts going up, and it makes you want to smash that throttle, but you can't do that in dirt racing. That's something I've really had to teach myself. You know, you don't go fast by smashing the throttle on dirt. Spin the tires, smashing <laughs> throttle on dirt. If you want to really get going out of the corner, well, you got to pay attention to the state of the track beneath you and uh, ease onto the throttle. No idea if I'm uh, fast compared to fast disguise, but we're doing okay in this race. So I'll take that. We've got Ryan behind us. I've raced with him before. Though I think it's been a while. 
It's really a three car race up here in the front. So we got four seconds back to fourth. But obviously that can change in an instant. Really wants to pull to the right. Really got to watch out for that. Just very even on pace, it looks like. You've just done a 29.2. And I definitely don't want to throw this away, of course. A second place would be so much better than I was expecting, because, well. I guess it can't be better than I was expecting if I was expecting nothing. <laughs> it was better than probably what I would have expected to get if you had asked me, I guess. Is that a way of saying it? I don't know. It's hard to do commentary while doing this, so I probably sound like I'm just full of nonsense. Because I am really, it's, you gotta really work this wheel. I mean, I'm sure you can see it in the bottom left, they're freaking out every direction. I'm turning right through the corners. It's the whole, like, you know, turn right to go left from cars. <laughs> it's true, you know. So car up high, so I guess I'm glad we're down here. Low car up high. Alright, I can't believe we're just now seeing lap traffic. What are we doing now? Oh my god, Ryan came flying in. I was just trying to not die. Missing those guys and he was not interested in wasting time. Almost came and got me. Two sideways. Slow car ahead. Slow car ahead. Is that the same car we just saw? I'm not sure what they're doing. They made it pretty far into the race without having major issues, but now they look like they're struggling. Ooh. Don't hit the wall. Didn't mean to do that. We were getting down closer to the end of this thing. It's a car rejoining in front. I wish I could switch it to session last lap, but even the straightaways are tough here. So I feel like I can't even spare a moment. I'd love to be able to compare like how the high line's doing compared to the low line and such. That is, I just do not have the free moment right now. Oh, it's well getting sideways. Is he gonna be okay? We gonna be okay? Oh, I think Ryan might pass us. Oh, pulling to the left so bad. Don't come and get him. All right. Make sure I can slow down. I don't want to wreck anybody. Like I said, we we've got a nice finish picking up here. Can't throw it away, and certainly don't want to hurt anybody else either. I care about that more than myself. If I wreck myself, okay, whatever. Get better, me. But if I wreck someone else, then I just feel bad for a whole the rest of the week. So I'd much rather nosedive myself into the wall than run into somebody and ruin their race. It happens, but I try to let it happen as little as possible. So I think I've been getting a little bit too eager on the throttle. I think i got to get back in the smooth mindset. I'm thinking too much about these lap cars. I need to think about what I am doing. I'll worry about the lap cars when we get to them. Got five seconds behind us. That's nice.
They look like they're about to get side by side. This could be a very interesting finish coming to five to go. Oh, this is exciting. I love this, man. This is so awesome. It's so difficult, but having this challenge, you know, it makes the racing so much more engaging. It's like anti-super speedway racing. Oops, did I say that out loud? Not talking about you, Nashville Super Speedway. You're good. <laughs> All good. The uh, low line is it. I think the uh, high line's got some more grip at this point in the race, although they just went low, both of them there. So, <sighs> Ooh, don't do that. Don't be a dirty wall rider. I guess we're all dirty here. I'm dirt, but, you know, don't cheat. <laughs> Not out here trying to cheat. <laughs> Lap traffic. That's the wall. Ah, uh, that was weird. <laughs> That's not exactly how I planned for that to happen, but... Want to get around this 12. God, get out of the wall. I really wish this 12 weren't here. I'm really trying to make sure I'm not getting into him, and it's kind of messing with me. It's, it's me not being skilled enough to get around him properly, but also him being there is making me very nervous. Last lap! Are we gonna get a Hail Mary from the seven trying to get the win? That remains to be seen. Last lap, looking good for a podium. Ooh, he's throttling it up. He might be getting a little too excited. He's gonna protect the bottom. Can I cut under him though? Oh, he got me. <laughs> well done, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. The that was awesome. Great race, great win. That was fun. Good job. Very good job. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> good race one. That was a lot of fun there for the last like five ten laps, whatever it was. That was so cool. I loved that. Eight definitely earned it. He did everything he needed to do and didn't let the pressure get to him. I'm just uh, trying to get away from everybody as much as possible. We didn't have any huge pileups in front of us. I mean, we had some contact going on at one point, but no like track blockers we had to come up on or anyone doing anything too crazy. Just your normal expected stuff. Got it on the right rear. <laughs> I just habitually go to my tires after the race and I'm like, oh yeah, dirt racing. <laughs> the uh, temperatures might mean something to somebody, but I don't know anything. I don't have any point of reference for that. But hey, that was so cool. We finished out our car number. We gave up second to the seven, but uh, he passed us clean. You know, I just started getting a little bit out of control there for a little bit. And so uh, he earned the spot. Fastest lap was lap five, apparently, 28.6. Let's check out the incidents, but that was so cool. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully no one had any, uh, anything too bad happen. The number one here, a 4.6K dirt oval driver. But uh, it's kind of like whenever you throw a stock car on the road courses. Like if you're good in a Mazda or, you know, the... Formula 3 or something, it might not translate the best to stock cars where they debatably do not belong. <laughs> but after that race, I think that they belong plenty well. That was so fun. 
Well, just getting the wall a little bit, getting a little out of control. Straightaways are just as tough as the corners when you're driving these things. It's really hard to describe unless you've unless you're out there yourself, but it just it's doing everything it can to turn both directions all at once. We got some walleye entry and uh did he decide to just flat foot it I guess? Yeah, he decided that this this corner he was gonna wall ride. It looked like it was an accident getting in there in the first place, but then he's like, well I'm already here. <laughs> Is what it is. We got we're seeing double here with the Valvoline. <laughs> At least that's a good scheme. Ouch! That was a hard hit right on that opening. That's a dangerous spot here. He hit it so hard he blinked out. And the 12 self spinning right in front of the four. That sucks. Four had nowhere to go. That's just the kind of you just get bad luck here sometimes. So impossible to avoid someone spinning in front of you on dirt. Can't just slam on the brakes. So then you're just gonna, instead of running into the, the uh, spinning car with the front of your car, you're probably just gonna hit the side of your car instead. So <laughs> just uh, choose what car, part of your car you want damaged. That's how hard you hit the brakes. Five looks like he's gonna take the wall for that corner. Hope he's not doing that every corner. Kinda looks like he is. But hey, guess what? Well, I guess he didn't do it there. You know, the top three, us top three, we weren't doing it and we were faster, so. I mean, he's not blatantly doing it, but it looks like he's not too concerned about hitting the wall at all. No, you know what? I think he's okay. I think he's just using the berm up there and then accidentally hitting the wall once in a while. So I don't want to accuse anyone that's not doing, actually doing it on purpose. Because obviously it's very hard to control. Look at me driving through the slick. Like a nincompoop. I haven't seen the two yet. He's just getting a little, little dicey on the straightaway. It's kind of like what I was saying before, you really want to keep the throttle steady. I think the instinct, whenever you start getting out of control, is to let off the gas. But I feel like you have to be disciplined and just keep it steady. Because when you let, let off the gas, it gets even more out of control. So that's it. you kind of have to retrain your brain a little bit when racing out here on the dirt. Alright, nice move, 12. What was that? What on earth? Did he have... I don't know, maybe there was some ill will from earlier in the race or something? Or maybe he just decided he's gonna try a slide job for the first time in his life and has no idea how to do it. Because believe it or not, that's not how you do it. I mean, I guess he technically got in front of him. It's really easy to disguise intentional things on dirt, because that could have been him being very mad at the 12 for doing something insanely stupid, or he could have legitimately just hit the gas too hard and pulled to the right. <laughs> you just, I don't think you could prove anything there. That's looking a little bit more on purpose though, aiming for him there. Yeah, he's definitely going after him. So that's not really necessary. Now you've broken your car, so uh, you showed him. It's probably not smart to bring a white car to a dirt track. I don't think you're ever going to get those stains out. Twelve. Still having a little bit of struggles, but that looks like just about everybody else out here. Bobby Labani looking car. Here's some wall. We're moving right along though. I mean, even in terms of just having some wall hits. Ooh, that was a pretty good one though. We're moving along pretty quickly. Like we're almost to the end of this race through the incidents. 
He's got the 11. I, I think he must have uh, gotten a new car. Because I think his car was broken before, unless that was the other Valvoline car, since we have multiple in this race, apparently. <laughs> there you go, the 4.6 I rating guy. Well, his wall rating at the moment, but I don't think on purpose. But he's he's moved forward. He started near the back, didn't he? Eleventh, yeah, he really moved forward. So he showed his experience in the end here pretty well. There's the twelve getting way too close to me. I'm glad he didn't do his torpedo move he did to the other guy on me. That would have been very not appreciated. And then the eight. Just uh, happily putting pedal to the metal as he crosses the line, the victor. So, well, they're in there by the number eight from Florida. <laughs> uh, and we have pulled in to P3. I'm so happy with that. That was a ton of fun. That was actually awesome. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Um, my expectations were nil. And in the end... The results were fun. That was very fun. So uh, definitely give this a try if you were unsure. It goes towards your dirt oval statistics rather than your oval statistics. So if you're worried about safety rating or anything like that, well, it's going to go on your dirt oval stuff. So you know, if you want to, if you have like a A4.9 or something on oval, you want to protect or whatever it is, don't have to worry about that. And uh, Hey, we're, we're going to gain from this because I got a 0x. 0x, and I got 55i rating or so for Dirt Oval. Boost up that 2.1k. Maybe one day I'll uh, do some more Dirt Oval and try to get 3k in every discipline. Right now I have it all, but uh, obviously this one. So uh, enough about me and meaningless internet numbers. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. That was a pretty fun race. All three of us were really close basically the whole time. Had some great clean battles and uh, I'm very happy. So have a good one. I will see you next time.